देवप्रिया यू आर ऑन म्यूट सॉरी सो हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वेबसाइट कॉल वी ऑलवेज बिगिन दिस कॉल विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ आवर न्यूएस्ट मेंबर्स सो Uh, if there's anyone on the call who's attending uh, this call for the first time, please feel free to introduce yourself to everyone in the community. So I see a couple of familiar faces, but uh, Fireflies at AI first. Uh, it'll be really helpful if you can like add your name to the if you can rename yourself to display your actual name and. Uh, if you knew if this is the first time you are attending the call you can introduce yourself to everyone over here okay if you speaking uh, it's not audible while you fix that anyone else uh new on the call kiran raj is this the first time that you are attending the website call uh no it is the second time i'm attending the meeting uh, thank you for asking okay cool so i don't think we have any other newcomers today do we right so everyone who's on the call please add your names to the attendees list in the meeting minutes i've shared the link in chat and if you have anything to discuss today any updates from your end uh, feel free to add them in the agenda items as well right so let us begin so we have shubhra on the call shubhra would you like to dis- like show us your new design for the service mesh pattern site if you want i can share the screen but you can take over as well you guys can hear me right yeah <laughs> nothing like talking to yourself for 6 uh, minutes so attain is on except you just never audio good by the way um v- video is highly encouraged if you got video pull it up uh whether your hair is brushed or not it doesn't stop me so uh <laughs> so karan mr raj how are you how are you audio video those things working pull pull them up yeah nice. definitely really yeah thanks so lizette or elizabeth is here so um man she's got she's got something i hope hope she's going to show today really uh, pretty excited about what she's done uh but but anyway didn't mean to interrupt too much um uh, subra mr shaw do you want to show off your site let's kick off to kick off the call with your designs brand new site some new designs i don't think anyone has signed up to implement yet so that's an opportunity for people who are on the call talk us through it if you would Okay, so it looks like Suvra is having a network issue. We can move to Sahil's topic, and we'll come back to this topic in a bit. Okay. Sahil, you're on the call, right? Yeah, I'm. Just give me a minute. Hello, am I audible? Yeah, sure, you are. Yes. Um. Uh, yeah. So I've received uh the changes that have to be done. Um. Uh, Lee, bis. Uh, is Lee on the call? Yep. Okay. This the right margin was just a, it was just a just a layout. So I have removed it, and now I think the problem with the right or left uh, margin is done. And rest changes I will be implementing today. Um. So yeah, that is the update. Hey. All right. Now yeah, man, we got to get this changed around. Um, so good. So that, that's great. I mean, introduce this to to others here. Um, ask somebody if they want to we'll maybe work with you on implementation. Should probably talk about whether or not we're going to do it in in like it, it, using a particular framework or not. We probably should. 
like Jekyll or something like that. But uh, what do you what do you get going on? What do you got left? Yeah, are there things that are done that someone might be able to start on? Yes. Yeah, so uh, I think this uh, home section from the top, I think it's mostly done. Just that I yeah, that is mostly done. So they can start with the top bar, the hero section, and and no, uh, I have not thought of any particular implementation. But yes, the uh, whatever colors I have. Uh, the fonts are etc. all standardized. So, what is same as we used in the layer five website, almost same. So, uh, yeah, that is the thing. So, is this a multi-page site? Like yes, it's a multi-page site. Uh, we have the main page, then one chapters page, then I think one partners in action, and then one about the others and about their five. So about layer five is covered here itself, like. Uh yes, but I think it will be moving, or it will be a shortened version, or it will move to a new version. Lee has a code there, so, uh yes, there was something did it about it, so I'll have a check on. Okay, so one thing is, if this is the body, I think it's too yes. much text for now, like. Yes. Once the user starts scrolling down, there'll be no uh, pictures or anything. For now. So uh, I think the plan was to make it a single page site, right? So do yes, you that was that was what I thought. But I think since these headers were added, so I think um, it is a multiple a multi page thing right now. Um, so and this content was also I took this content from the uh, from the O'Reilly page. So this corner can be shortened down actually. Any other views? Anyone else? What do you guys think of this design? Yeah, so it'd be good to give everybody just a quick intro to what we're talking about and why. Okay, should we do that? Okay, so I was assigned the task of designing a portal for the service mesh pattern book. So this is a book by Nick and Lee. So I was assigned the task to make up entire website following and getting inspired by the layer five website and the design system that has was to be implemented into a new site where I figured out that this would be the main sections like about layer five authors pattern in action and book chapters and this is a hero section of the thing um they were priya is sharing it who is sharing yes if you can zoom the hero section because um because that is where most people have um different opinions this is a hero section of the side which i thought um uh, this is what will come to the web to the user at the very launch of the site. This is what the user will see just when he open the site. And after that, he will see the rest of the site when he scrolls down. Sections will come, uh, images and whatever we have, whatever you everyone suggest will be there. Uh, contents are taken mostly from the layer five website and the O'Reilly page. Okay, like so, this, uh, this part is from the Leta website. Uh, I thought I thought that it was a quote sort of thing for the audience, so I put it in a quote. And this uh, description was from the O'Reilly page. So yeah, yeah. So uh, this site will basically be hosted on uh, the the service mesh uh, patterns repository. You haven't seen it. Yeah. So this is basically a collection of service search patterns that we as a community we are building. And soon we'll have uh, other people contribute to this as well. So we needed a website for 
this basically which for now will focus on the book like shubhra was mentioning but later on this site will evolve to maybe installation guides or uh, how to import these patterns to machinery ui and stuff like that so this is just the beginning for the site and if you guys like this is completely new there is uh, no code written for the site yet so for everyone on the call if uh, first you have to finalize the design there is a design is still under review but if you want to work on this please signal you can add your names to the meeting minutes as well because since we'll be making this from scratch i'll uh, open up issues and maybe some of you on the call can take up like someone can take up the task for the nav bar someone can take up the task for the hero section so let us distribute the work like that once this design gets reviewed and approved and so if anyone's interested please uh, volunteer add your names in if you want and for now if you have any feedback for this please be critical because like that is how constructive reviews can be done if you think there's something off or if you like something please mention it right now this is the best place to voice your opinions for everyone on the call like don't hold back yes also regarding like as a shubhradeep said like any frameworks if you think that are will be good for front end like even if anyone thinks of implementing things like 3js or webgl etc do let me know because i will be designing according to that book. or any like thing you have in mind any library something so i will design according to that keeping in that keeping in mind that library currently i'm using material design and all that stuff so yeah guys <clears throat> yeah actually um suvra i would that that's a probably in general a good thing to do to to design in context of the capabilities of a particular framework in this case um, i would encourage you in this case i would encourage you not to um okay. the the folks on the call it, it's it won't it'll only be a five or six page site the folks on the call can do whatever you can think of like so i wouldn't let the framework limit the designs rather the the implementation will arise to to meet the design i wouldn't um i wouldn't let it hold understood. you back understood understood so there's um so so a couple of things so so you know the the genesis of the site or the purpose of it is largely to say that if you're trying to run this type of infrastructure there's there are patterns for of best practices those are documented in this the, this first book there there might be a second book advanced service mesh patterns in which in more of the same patterns would come about um, the site would be reused uh, maybe there would be maybe there would be some new additions um, so right now there's there's proposed a main page. Um, the request is for a, a page design for for outlining the chapters, just kind of high level. Yes, this one. Uh, and then if you keep going to the right a bit, there's a yeah, there's a couple of annotations at the top that that talk about perhaps what the page itself would be about and, and what we would be looking for the user to do, what the call to action might be. Understood. Patterns in action would be another page that would talk, that would you know, go over what Deborah Priya was referring to about the ability to import patterns into Meshery, how you can use Meshery and use MeshMap to um, manipulate and you know, manipulate the patterns and make them uh, custom. Ali, I'm sorry to interrupt, like, can you, uh, refer me someone who can give me info about like mesh map when I'm designing the site because I will need a lot of info about that. Sure. Yeah. To, yeah. There are other, a other than you all, of course. Um, yeah. There's a handful of folks that are on the call who uh, will see that they will give them a moment to make, to volunteer, but before the end of the call, we'll make sure that you have a few different names. Um, as a matter of fact, there's a couple of people I think even on the call who have recently documented a bit about that, a bit about how you can use patterns in meshery 
um, and what mesh map is and how you can use mesh map. So for sure. Understood. We'll leave you with some links actually before we leave the call, maybe a couple of links to um, where some of that's been documented, so where you can get uh, some idea. Okay, understood. So that's nice. So patterns in action will be a nice, uh, um, we'll have some different media there, maybe a video or two, maybe an animated um, GIF or so to just kind of show people how they, how these things work, how they can use them. Okay. Um, and the last page, yeah, a bit kind of a split between the authors and um, this community and, and our, all of our projects. It might be that we would, I, I've asked a number of people from various tech companies largely to come and give tech review on the book. And so it's actually, this generally isn't done, but I was thinking maybe we would also elevate and recognize the works of the tech reviewers. Um, and so if you don't, if you don't mind, Suvra, if you can take this note, could you put in a design for what it would look like to have the reviews of the book? Yeah, yeah, kind of three sections, the authors, the tech reviewers, and, the, and layer five and its projects. Or maybe it's four sections, but, but, but if you would make a design that in incorporates them. The tech yes, reviewers. absolutely. Like if we have a book, then obviously if, if it is reviewed by the people in industry, it obviously adds to the value of the book. So I think it is very good. Yeah, and, and I should just to clarify, there is a difference between individuals who, so, so these individuals, these tech reviewers, these, these are folks that are reviewing the, the draft now, and they're offering up comment and um, either suggesting changes or kind of helping with changes, which is, which is good. So they're, they're contributing to it as versus individuals that might have read the book as a consumer of it, and then offered up a review saying whatever they thought of it. So, so there's a little bit of a, but, but those people that offer up a review in that way, as a consumer, they're not necessarily actively contributing or, you know, like they're not spending a ton of time technically reviewing. So there's a, a bit of a difference between those people. And so I figure like one of the things that we try to do in this community is recognize the works of anyone that puts in time here, recognize their works and recognize them. And so maybe we would do the same thing for the tech reviewers, the ones that actually deeply review the patterns and offer, you know, and offer feedback. So cool. And it sounds like there's a couple of other questions. Um, I think there's some chatter about what might make sense for a framework to be used. Actually, I guess Superdip had just, I think he just asked that. So, so that's a good, a good topic to do folks. What do folks think? So this would be hosted on GitHub pages, which natively uses Jekyll as a content management system or as a static site. I have not, um, it natively supports Jekyll, but it will host any um, static pages uh, from any content, static content, static site content generator. And so it's not limited to that. And that could be anything. And maybe, maybe there isn't one that's used for this because there's only a few pages. Um, it's probably not recommended. But anyway, point is, um, yeah, things to consider, how many pages there are, um, a little bit of the type of designs that there are, comfort with technologies within the community, things like that. How many people will be looking at it on mobile, maybe, or not, or how much of a certain type of uh, media is there, media type. Uh, Shubhra, can you also add the mobile view for all these pages in the Yes, I have done the mobile view in my local thing, but I am not currently in my home, so I have not really push it. I also done the pattern page, but I'm not currently in my home. Once I reach my home, I will put it and we'll get it by, by tonight. I will share with Lee the ring and I will tag him. So you can see the mo mobile view and also the 
patterns page okay cool also anyone if you have any document about the mesh map on meshery regarding any images to put in the site or video links you can put you can send in the chat or you can send in the slack slack website channel tagging me so i can get in put it there any video regarding the things or sort Cool. I actually do think that people should probably try to debate the framework or, or just suggest one and agree to it um, in part, probably largely in part because um, work, you know, work can almost commence. It, given the site structure that's here, um, given kind of the, the context, the theme for the um, site, and by theme, I mean, I mean like it's a site that reflects on a book, on the community, on participants in the community, and you kind of know what keywords and things that you'll have, you have a decent amount already to sort of start to lay it out and build an initial page, even if it doesn't, you know, even if it's not implemented to T. So Superdip, were you asking because you're thinking you might participate on this one um, or just because you have general investment in the projects? Yeah, I'd like to contribute in this website also. I'm not sure if anyone else could hear that. I think it was generally a positive, like, yeah, I think I might participate here, but sort of a, anyway, I couldn't hear you, super dip. Anyway, um, Adit and Chatterjee, um, Kamboj, any perspectives, any, any, any way that you want to try to push the site? Nikhil, is Sean, I've seen React in different places. React sounds fine. Like if you want to use any other package also, a Roland guy is easy to do. So yeah, React sounds fine. Considering it will only be a single page site. Mm -hmm. And if at all it goes to like becomes a multi-page in future, it will be an issue, even if you use React. And React in your mind, are you thinking, are you thinking Gatsby? Or are you thinking? No, else? no, plain, plain React. Oh, Just I see. Basically, yeah. Not Gatsby. Yeah, okay. since it's going to be a very small website, I don't think we need a framework in place like other than React. You know what the Layer 5 IO site started out as? One, one page. <laughs> One page, it had uh, four links, I think. It was like, hey, we're giving some workshops. Here's the links to the labs. Here's the Slack. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that, uh, I, I, yeah, it, it, by the way, if the site does turn into something much larger, it would, well, I, 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 let, I hope that it doesn't. And I think we should try for it, probably not to. What it, the, the place where it might grow would be with respect to, to yeah, de details about the patterns. The, where What it shouldn't grow into is like, oh, an active, a curated catalog of patterns. And the reason that I would say that it, it shouldn't turn into that is because there's, there's the meshery catalog already. And so that's where you would where people would come and contribute more patterns and where they would, yeah, where were you? Okay, well, what about if people just wanted to discuss them and understand them and, and chat through um, what they're doing? Well, there's a discussion forum for that and there's a pattern section there, okay? Well, what about if, what else would there be? So there's a potentially a second book, but it was more of the same. Oh, what about all the people that had comment, all the people who've contributed? So Suvra has contributed already. Some other people on the call are looking at you all are actually kind of participating in it right now to the extent that you're considering it, that you're thinking about it. You might offer up a comment. Some of like seven of you have already commented on it just in this call. So in my mind, that's participating, right? In my mind, that's like helping steer us towards React in this case. Um, 
And so what about recognition for those folks and, and things? It's like, okay, yeah, hey, maybe we'd want to build out this, like, here's all the people that have done this stuff. It's like, well, yeah, we kind of already have the layer five IO site for that. Or there's a fair bit of like community, community members, profiles, mesh mates, community managers. Like, that seems like the right place to build out kind of more of that. Uh, and by the way, there's more stuff that could be built out. Uh, actually, I'll put this as a menu item, something to chat about there. But point is, I was just trying to help everyone, um, I think, qualify the likelihood that that statement would stay true, that this would be uh, you know, five pages um, and continue to stay at five pages. It's like, oh, wait, 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 we're talking about a lot of service meshes, right? Wouldn't we want to talk about some of their differences and where all service meshes are out there. It's like, well, there's a landscape for that, a service mesh landscape. Okay, wait, what if I wanted to try out the patterns and import them and use them? Yeah, I think we have, a, I don't know. I think we have an answer for that. That's like, you know, on mesh, I don't know, mesh IO, you know, there's the mesh map site. It's pretty well covered. Like th this particular site is really like, um, there's a ton of content for what it is and can be because we already have like four other sites kind of describing some of this stuff. This one was intended to really focus on the book. If, if you're just like, oh, there's, I'm, I wanna understand what this book is about. And, and, and so, yeah, intentionally small, I guess we don't in, um, see it expanding. So it sounds like there's, there's a couple of plus ones behind hey, Re React being the, um, it's the right word. I hesitate to say language. Anyway, the, the language to use and then probably not bringing in a framework um, outside of that. Yeah, how, that's kind of interesting, right? Do, do people just React qualify? So JavaScript, but then... Ali. Yeah. I had a doubt that since it's a book website, as I said many previously, so will the site be only in English or do you plan to have it in other languages? Because, no, that'd be great. Yeah, we, we sure could. Because I have, whatever references I had seen for a book website, they have a couple of languages, like at least the Latin languages, like Spanish or French, etc. they have. At least Spanish they have. It's so, funny as I would have thought Chinese and Japanese would have been the ones to move it over to. Yes, because... because the technical aspect of this book is not limited to just any country or anything. It's like worldwide people can use it. So if you have plans regarding that, then we can have a small button and we can have a framework. Yeah. To, yeah, sh we should, sh yes, please design that in. Like um, there's any number of people who show up and, and are willing to help there. The last book, last couple of books that I wrote, did get translated to, I think there's a copy in Korean sitting on my shelf over there for the Istio book. I can't tell the difference between Japanese and Korean, but um, but point is, yeah, it, then another one was tran translated to Chinese. I, yeah, they just, I haven't seen them as often translated to, to German or French or Italian or um, Spanish. Mm -hmm maybe in part because it's English is a bit closer, easier to. Anyway, cool. We can move off this topic. Um, but, okay. Thank yeah, you. So. Uh, any other feedback, you can write it down uh, in the meeting minutes as well for everyone on the call. Right. So moving on, Sahil, are you ready now? With your demo? Yep. Share your screen yet? My screen is first but right now. Hello? Yep. So I have been working on integration on a page and I think it is almost complete except a hoppling effect that I need to add and uh, I need to do some uh, code refactoring. Also, I need to ask one thing, like, as you can see this image, like, uh, it is like not a uh, proper. So if I have to select that particular element, how can I do it? Can you just help me out with that? 
I think you're specifying both width and height for all the images. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like if uh, like I have uh, I didn't uh, do that then uh, like this was messing up weight. So sure. You'll have to specify one, and the other one should be automatically like, dependent. Yeah. On. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, don't specify both width and height. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Say hell, did we lose you? Am I not audible? You went off for something. Now is it okay? Yeah. Okay, so like if you guys have any suggestion on anything that I can work on. Yeah, so Sahil, this is great, by the way. Just if you can try to give people a quick overview of what the purpose of this section is. Like uh, Mystery A has a lot of integration and uh, so in order to just arrange everything and put it on the one page and we simply made uh, this page, okay. And like there should be a hover effect through which uh, we can redirect that to the particular uh, doc uh, page of that uh, element. That's what uh, we are trying to do. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, very good. Um, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll characterize that a little bit and say that Meshery itself is a management platform. It is capable of being deployed on different operating systems, being deployed to work with different types of Kubernetes systems, Kubernetes deployments, and it manages different service meshes. It will soon be managing other types of cloud native infrastructure. So. Uh, things that pop to mind are, well, it manages and connects to Prometheus today and Grafana, Jaeger. Um, it'll do, it actually does deploy some aspects of Argo, Argo CD today. Um, it, it'll end up touching quite a few of these. And um, in the future, it'll probably integrate with, with Slack. It'll end more, integrate more deeply with GitHub. And so all of these integrations help um, make the project attractive and make the project useful to um, teams that are already, you know, saw engineer, you know, engineering teams that are already using any number of these given technologies. And it's, it's you know, ideal when the technology that they're already using, um, that, that meshery integrates into it. And then, and so good. So having a list that's pretty like this, people want to want to review that. They want to be able to to at least filter it with the buttons at the, at the top, which is great. Um, they, when they do see that, oh, there's an integration with Linkerd, for example, um, they might want to know some specifics about what the integration does. And so if they were to hover on any one of these um, honeycomb cells, if you will, if they were to hover on any one of these, they should one, get have an effect on the page that indicates to them that each of these are clickable. And then two, they should be taken to an individual page, or I'm sorry, a page that describes the individual integration and gives them more detail about what the integration does. So right now, Sahil has um, designed a couple of uh, or he's got a couple of designs about what it might look like when the mouse were to hover over a cell. So right now, at least right now, and, and he's soliciting all of your feedback, if anyone has better suggestions, is that when you were to hover your mouse over a given cell, it might elevate off the page a bit, just like the buttons on the in the site already do. But that at the same time, perhaps it, there's, there's some coloring that were to, to occur. In this case, it's a linear gradient. Um, there's also a learn more button that looks like it shows up. 
you know, just calling and kind of begging the user to click me, click me, click me. So then if they do click me, they're then um, probably the shadow goes away. It kind of gets depressed or something. And, and then they're taken to the other page. There's a design for what it might look like to have some coming soon to sort of let people know, oh, there's, there's a Slack integration coming. And um, I think the proposal is that on hover, like nothing happens. It's just a disabled button. So that's, that's the state of both, I think, the design and we were seeing the state of the implementation. Um, Sahil is actively considering what an individual integration page might look like. Just a description of how Meshery, how it's probably like a description of how to integrate Meshery. So a little bit of, um, probably a little bit of documentation to say, this is how they connect technically, like you give credentials here or, or whatever that is. Um, and then, but more important than that is really the what, like what, what does the integration do and how do you benefit if the two systems are talking to each other? So I think, Sahil is looking for people to suggest suggest designs and give feedback on what he's got. So Sahil, is there anything else that you can, do the filters work in the current implementation? Yeah. Platform information. Like we don't have any category for operating system and uh, collaboration right now, so it doesn't work. Can you click on service mesh words? Yeah. Service. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and click on all. The last row of the honeycomb that isn't aligned properly, right? This one, right? Oh, that is by design. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I was saying. Like, I need to select the last element of it. Uh, so. I was hoping if you guys can give some suggestion, like how I can select this element and fix that. Like everything is uh, working fine, but uh, uh, like view this element and this element, it get uh, unaligned, that's why. This is happening uh, because like I didn't put the height height here. Like if I did, then it uh, would be like all the things would be some properly aligned. So. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Any any ideas? Anyone else? So, we have something to say on time. Yeah, so by the way, Rahul was saying a shadow on hover would might be nice, and I totally agree. I think Sahil has that as part of his plan at the moment. And then, uh, yeah. Sorry to interrupt, uh, but yeah, I will uh, just make that uh, after that uh, design is uh, completed. I will add that uh, thing. Nice. And yes, and so Superdip was talking about you know, scaling up the icon and having a linear gradient on hover. So, okay, so like if, um, Superdip, were you suggesting that like as, if on hover, if the button enlarges slightly, that you might also enlarge the icon even even a little bit more. Is that what you're thinking? Oh, okay. So he's got. So he'll he'll respond through chat. Just in case his microphone is a bit off. Um, but yeah, basically that's what he was thinking. Is that you know outside of just the, just the simple elevation of that cell, like we would normally elevate a button. It sounds like he's also wondering what it might look like or how cool it might be if the logo itself, the icon in the middle, would, um, comes up and out, maybe has its own, maybe a second level shadow. I don't know, it's stuff to explore. Um, uh, if you uh, like, in case of alignment, we could also use a cubicle shape for all the, the boxes. 
all the honeycombs that we have. Like okay. instead of just arranging them randomly six in a row, for example, we could arrange them in a cubical shape as well, or a square. People say. If you go for a cubical, then it would be 3D. But instead, you could go for a square. Okay. But uh, I think like uh, Lee preferred a honeycomb design more. That's why. Uh, by honeycomb, uh, by square design, I mean the honeycombs should be arranged in the form of a square. Uh, okay. I'm not talking so, about the individual cell, but all the cells as a group. Okay. Let's also, in case when that. there is no item to display, uh, like suppose if you only select operating system as a group, yeah. uh, you can, instead of showing a blank screen, you could say that uh, no integration is to show. So, uh, but a text would be better than showing a pass. Okay. Uh, whether be it an operating system or collaboration, either of them. Yeah. You also mentioned a few things like uh, I should remove the return statement. about the attention right? uh, yeah like if i just uh, remove that it doesn't uh, show anything in the page that's why like i can't uh, remove that we can take that on the vr itself uh, i think we can continue the call as well i i, have, I haven't checked but that should do because we are already doing it in other places maybe yeah. something will be missing there but i'll take a look and get in on the PRX. okay thank you I, I also have a like a design idea. I don't know how feasible it would be. Instead of uh, making honeycombs, why don't we make it like a small bit of mesh logo? That that would be great. I don't know how how tough it would be to make it, but that could be a great design, I guess. Uh, Mesri logo, like, uh, logo has small triangles in it. So instead of triangles, we place integration in it. So I think you can, uh, Sahil, if you can get in touch with Yash. Yeah, uh, uh, let, let's stop after the call. Okay, sure. Uh, Elizabeth, let's hear from you first. I'll cover some of my topics. Can I share my screen now? Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth is good. Okay. Um, you want to share? Yeah. Um, Hello. Yep, you're audible. Okay. Come to share the screen. Um, yes, please, you can share it for me. Go ahead. All right, so um, I worked on the About Us Auto in the blog page. Um, the last time I um, I demoed it, um, there were different changes which has been made currently. Um, for example, the images are now shown properly and um, on mobile, we are, we are hiding the About Us Auto and then just displaying the share, yes, at the bottom here. So, um, yes, yeah, so basically that um, there's still few changes to be made, but like it works well currently. So it is what I have. I think you have a merge contract on the PH and a couple of changes were requested. Yeah. So once you 
push those i think this is good to go it looks good now and this also has the mesh map in here just one thing on the design we had an image over here right i just remember oh yeah i think so yeah so just yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think there was an image here. If you can just add it in. Maybe it'll become too long, but if we followed the design, it was there was an image. Okay, okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Any views on this? Anyone? This is the, like a share button allow you to share this post directly on your Twitter feeds. And there's a copy. This is new as well, right? There's a copy URL link here as well. Great job on this. Uh, I posted a few changes on the PR. I don't think they have been addressed yet, right? Oh, so. well, yeah. Um, I've made those changes. I'll push them in a sec. Oh, okay. So, okay, so uh adding you as well don't resolve the conversations before the changes are published it is just difficult to track for the user as well only once you have pushed the changes then resolve the conversations so that it's easier to track the changes so okay thank you elizabeth Wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait, actually, so, <laughs> I don't know if everybody saw it, like, I was so busy being happy about Zane being back, I and mean, that's, that's fantastic, but, uh, I mean, uh, but Elizabeth, this is, uh, <laughs> it's only been, like, a month that you've been, like, getting, you know, making work, getting feedback, making work, these guys keep on, like, saying, oh, no, change this, oh, no, flip it back, okay, no, change that again, no, flip it back, no, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, they, they didn't give any feedback that was fickle like that, that's, that's usually my job. <laughs> but uh, but this is really cool. I mean, this this is uh, for any contributor that writes a blog post. In this case, I'd be really excited if I were them because not only do do individuals that stick around the community for a while do they typically they typically get invited to have a community member profile, but then anyone who ends up putting in the time and effort to get a blog post out, um, they're you know, a well, not a summary, but like their their profile again gets shared here, and it looks really nice. I think it looks really nice, and the way that it's responsive is pretty cool. Um, the now actually we didn't have it before Elizabeth has put this in. We didn't have like built in um, buttons to share to social media. And those are built in, and they they seem like they work pretty really well. Actually, there was one. Um, if you were to click on the copy link, which I think shows up in the responsive view, I don't know that there was much feedback given to the user uh, where, like, I think it works. I think it copies the clipboard, but just as a user, you, there wasn't, a, you know, some indicator that, that something happened. Only you don't provide feedback. I've given that feedback only oh. <laughs> okay. So you are late to the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the one that uh, actually I was giving such terrible feedback. I said I have to pull myself out. Yeah, that's right. Um. <laughs> but but anyway, the the copy button. I don't know if they know what happens. Um. I also I I assume that this is I probably am behind on the comments, but uh. In the related blog post section, it uh, it's responsive if you refresh. And so I don't know if that's because of Netlify. Um, that's by uh, Okay. So uh, anyway, I, I, probably nothing that Elizabeth has done is messing with that. I, I don't I don't guess. Anyway, just I couldn't help but be excited about this. This is cool. It's great.
once again thank you uh, right so next we have harshit's topic but uh, i think the dark mode like the uh, pr is almost like in its final stages uh, it still needs review there are some couple of changes that harshit has to address but other than that i don't think there are any more updates to this right uh yes sir uh, least there is some 17 changes so i changed them all and uh, i think made a pr on this so yes uh, i am i think besides that nothing to show okay cool uh just one more thing so uh right yesterday i raised a pr i'll just show you i used your approach for preventing the flashing effect that we have on the banner when we refresh it so just uh aditya seems to think this is a bit hacky so uh what do you guys think of this approach like i think you've used it in a couple of pages on your pr so basically mm-hmm. Almost... yeah mm-hmm. yes so this this returns a blank page so blank for a moment like so that we don't have the flashing effect but uh do you think this is like a way to go is this the right approach to solving this not sure mm, basically uh, in this i think that uh, we uh, the site is comp- uh, load buffering and uh, the component has not been loaded yet so uh, the com- uh, the flashing effect is uh, occurring because that the white theme is that the component has been loaded at then white uh, flash is coming here and then it's uh, just converted after the use effect uh, lo- uh, hook in a dark theme so to prevent that uh, i have to use this uh, uh, prevent uh, the flash thing yeah. uh okay cool another yeah. thing yeah like what and it, there's there's definitely one, there's definitely a couple of methods that could be used to prevent that that effect so so what we're talking about here is on the main page when you load up layer5.io there if you refresh the page you'll see that there are like four different types of heroes uh you know of hero banners so that there's a design and you refresh again you get a different one and so there's this just this um simple rotation um framework or counter that happens and it just so happens the way that it's being counted and the way that that count is stored inside of a cookie the logic that is currently written has the banner number 1 initially loading and it actually might be appropriate to show the user banner number 3 um and so it will be like banner 1 for a split second and then banner 3 or banner 4 or um and yeah there there's other there are other ways like like th- this is one of those ways excuse me to um stop that flash cuz whether you're on the light theme or the dark theme it's happening either way and i i f- yeah i might be just paying more attention to it at the moment but it feels like with this video that now plays it feels like that glitch like like it feels like that that flash that glitch is a little more prominent um in part because of the way that we're trying to give people an image to look at before the video displays um i don't know if i think that is fair to call out one approach as hackier than the next or like it is not as robust as the next one thing that would be good to do particularly if you're giving the feedback that something is a hack is to also give a suggestion as to what might be done so i'm i'm hoping that there are also suggestions from that individual about something else better to do cuz cuz yeah that there's about there's a couple of things that weigh on the implementation one is sustainability like if it's difficult to understand what the code is doing or if it's hard to sustain over time if you add a fifth uh, banner you have to refactor everything because the way that that was implemented was you know not great 
it, it is those are factors to consider. Another factor to consider is is the way that it's being implemented potentially model your SEO. Um, Google doesn't probably necessarily like if um, you know a lot of times sites they'll try to give a lot of content on the site and have a lot a bunch of keywords, but instead of because having all of that text is ugly, they might put it on there, but then set it to non-visible or hidden. And depending upon how you're doing that, Google might think, oh, they're trying to game the system. And so anyway, just, just a variety of things to look at. I'm not saying that that's what's going to occur in this particular case. I'm just saying those are factors to consider. There is an issue here, though. There is an issue with the flashing of. Um, uh, okay. Harshad, another thing. I think on like in the last few calls, we were discussing uh, adding the opacity as like a sub category in the themes type, because in a lot of places, say uh, the box shadow or something, we have user reduced opacity, right? And uh, I think Lee suggested to have like a subdivision, like say a color and the different opacity over there in the themes itself. So did, were you able to address that in any way? In what? Um, okay. okay. Uh, yes, I actually added some of the colors uh, here that uh, you uh, for, for specify the purpose. But uh, the problem here is that in some components, we want different uh, shades for the different uh, background uh, shadow shades for the dark theme and for a light theme. So I, I added few of them, but uh, for every component, we are using a different kind of shadow. So there's a kind of problem here. So I think that's it. But I guess I added some of the components, I think. Right. So. Again, and I request everyone on the call to go review the dark mode one final time before you're completely ready for publishing it. And uh, yeah, okay. So talking about the banner that we recently have, I think uh, it's not, the video isn't displaying on iPhones, right? So I checked it on my phone, I use Android. So here the video displays, but it goes off. Like it's not, it's not a very smooth process. And also it has taken a massive hit on the page speed as well, because like, especially this enormous network payloads, uh, this should be ideally 16, I, I think 1600 or something. Yeah, it should be 1600 and ours, like the total size is 10,000 right now. So we'll either have to compress. I don't know why it's not showing at all on iPhones. I have no. Uh, does it show the meshery video that is there on the meshery page Lee, on your phone? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, I'll, I'll double check. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, like, I even tried to in my this PR. I even tried to use like for the poster. I use like a blur image of the first frame of the video not like in like right now it's the designer image but that again that is also a very heavy image and uh, first that loads and then the video plays to prevent that i use this but uh, the like the video is still i think we'll have to compress it more i can't think of a of another solution to prevent this Yeah, either <clears throat> right, either load an alternative version of the image, the video that's you know greatly reduced in size, uh, or just not load it. You know, just say, hey, we're not gonna we're not gonna show it on uh, mobile. On the just to answer your question, I don't know, it's on the um, layer five on the meshery page. The video does show for that other video clip that I show. Okay, so I'll take a look at that one more time. And meanwhile, if anyone has any suggestions on how we can like work well with the video on the banner, please let me know on Slack. Uh, the banner video shows up for me on the, like, the layer five website. It's just really slow. It takes a minute to come, but like it shows up for me. It's just, I think it's because of the 
uh, it's because of the size of the video the site has slowed down otherwise it's it's showing up for me i'm using safari on my iphone it's showing up for me that's that's a little embarrassing for me aditya has a nicer iphone than i do so okay thanks thanks for that so we are slightly over time i'll just briefly mention like uh long back we were like when i was going through the paid speed insights there was another feature for uh, another error sort of to serve images in a next gen format and we started fixing this uh, by converting image to static images but i think uh, like there was a spreadsheet to keep track as well but like this got lost after a while so uh, just a reminder that we'll want like for the static images on the site we'll want to use static images as much as possible and if you go to page speed in insights it gives a list of all the pngs and jpegs which are not optimized yet so uh, if anyone's interested you can take a look and convert the images to static images over here as well and right so we have a couple of other topics as well but i think we are over time we won't be able to cover all of them today so guys please bring your topics on the next week's agenda i just i'll add it in today itself you can display it next week or in, or in any other call this week uh like ishan you can show this on the mashiri dev call if you want good so, yeah sure no problem i do it okay thank you everyone for joining today see you all next week Bye bye. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye. Um, is it possible? I. Uh, is it yeah. possible? I ask a brief question before we leave. Very brief. Yeah. yeah so yeah. the prototype I'm working on, it happens to not have an about page. It only has a home. And I think I'm supposed to work on like the projects page and um, so solutions page and like community learn and blog, but I can only find design for the home only. Should I share my screen or something? So you yeah. can see what I'm talking about. Okay. Oops. Okay. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about here. It only has a design for the home only, different segments of the home, and there's nothing on like what's supposed to be beneath the project um, solutions. Uh, on the sidebar, beside the black sidebar that you see. Yeah. Yeah, from here you can navigate to the other pages. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You have to scroll down. You'll have the list of other pages over here. Okay, I think I got that. Let me see. Right. Uh, is that all, Jacob? Yes. Yes, that's that's all. Okay. And one thing to note there really quick is that, that see that horizontal bar, if you go back to where you were just vertically scrolling on the left-hand side, there's also this very thin horizontal bar about an inch below where your mouse is now. Uh, no, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so then that can help ease, yeah, you can, you know, the difference between the assets that are on the current page and then navigating the other pages. And so, yeah. And, and just to confirm, um, this is actually like this is the main home page and not this or uh, either of these. Um, in part, it's uh, it's a bit of mix. It's a bit of a mix. We, we occasionally get stuff, you know, do a design, implement, and then change something, and then forget to update the design. And also, the main page has banners, heroes that rotate. It has like four or five different heroes, and so. Yeah, there, there are aspects of the, the, the part where it says open source and community first. I think that's probably old. Um, okay. th this is a little bit because on the left hand. 
because I already started working on this particular one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one on the and left is which 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 one is the updated one, so I can know which one to work on. Yeah, the one on the one on the left is closer to um, current. Okay, so I should just but, complete this one. Yeah, I would make a copy. Yeah, and remember, like if you're going to do any changes, make a copy first, and then do your changes in a draft section. There, some of those. Yeah, you probably haven't seen it on the left hand side of where mm -hmm. you were navigating. That yeah, at the very very top there are contributing instructions. And so that'll help you give you a couple of, um, you might end up having to zoom out or scroll to the right. Or, uh, so yeah, there you go, there you go. Yeah, this'll help kind of orient you a little bit and, and give you a um, some conventions about how we ask that people work. So number one, don't edit the existing designs, make copies. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll have to un revert your work, which we wouldn't yeah. want to have. Yes. But yeah, and then if you're in doubt as to whether or not the design is current with the site, just go over to the site <laughs> and look and see. Yeah, I, yeah. I actually, and what I saw was um, a different, like, yeah. Yeah, very, very different, which is um, this, um, this, this, yeah. But yeah, go go to town, or I mean, um, you know, go wild on uh, some new designs. Oh. Nice. Um, go. I'm looking forward to what you might come up with. All right, thank you. Yeah. Very good. Well, nice to see you all. Catch you next week. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, bye. Okay.